A statue of Nathaniel Rochester in the South Wedge neighborhood in Rochester has been vandalized. Colonel Rochester founded the city, but as historians have noted, he does not have a pristine past, having at one point owned slaves, and the vandals referenced that tainted legacy. Kayla Green talked to one historian about the man behind the statue. Nathaniel Rochester is one of three men that founded our city. City historian Christine Radarski says he brought slaves to Rochester when he moved here. You know, I don't think the story of Rochester's ownerships of slaves had been well known in this community. Radarski says when Rochester moved to New York State, New York was already in the process of emancipating slaves. The one most well documented case was of a young girl who was still considered minor. And so within a day or so of him manumitting her, the court placed her within his care. She was considered an orphan and a ward of the state and assigned back to Nathaniel Rochester. And it actually worked out to his benefit because now not only did he continue to benefit from her labor, but he was paid to do so because he was paid as a caretaker for an orphan. Painted on this statue of our city's founder are phrases like profited off slavery, white supremacist, and shame. Some people who live in the neighborhood say the statue has to go and that the man it honors doesn't represent our community's values. We have black people in position right now to make changes for our people. And for that statue to be over there, uh, to be, I mean, it needs to be removed. It needs to be removed because that doesn't stand for our people. That doesn't stand for what we stand for. Mayor Lovely Warren says the statue's value here will definitely be discussed. Radarski says she'll likely be offering advice to the city's new task force about what to do about the statue going forward. In Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8.